I'm surprised there are less bullshit deaths in this game than Sierra games usually have. Oh, spoke too soon. Yeah, it just... It's, <laughs> there's a dragon for no reason. It's not explained. That dragon looks really sort of socially awkward after he's knocked your head off. <laughs> I'm sorry, are we friends? And it's like, oh shit, oh god. Oh, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Next time, do something. Fantastic advice, you cunts. Fuck these guys. You've never <laughs> looked so good. You know, there's snarky and then there's just spiteful. Mm. These guys have something against you. And then so yeah, you have to go, oh no, medallion. Oh, look how worried he is. And then that look, dragon like, looks. Oh. That dragon goes, oh shit, shit's getting, shit's getting real now. And then he takes the, you know, opens the door for me and wanders off with wood. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Bye. And the just, thing is, just needed this to repair my bed. Yeah, thanks. the best part is he comes from where I was. Where did he come from? Where is he going? What is he doing with the wood? Like that's what I love about it. There's just I broke a slat on my bed. <laughs> Fucking my dragon friend, girlfriend. <laughs> it's a flashlight with scales. We're too late again. We've run into another corpse of presumably a resistance man. Yeah, this game really is just chase the corpse. Are they being killed by the orbs? Why do um, they even need us? No, they're being killed by... Look, this is the resistance, so they're being killed by Phil. Right. The but, huge giant dick. But, uh... Under we, aren't we, like, supposed to be killing the resistance? Notice that tattoo. Does that not look familiar? Yeah, like a setup of some arrangement of uh, candles. Ah, uh, uh, that hand is fucked. Yeah. It's graphically, I mean. Oh, all the, all the art in this is hilariously that, bad. <laughs> that hand would make sense if someone had, like, removed the bones and stamped on it. Mm. Well, but... Uh. Oh, the orbs have new... Have, oh, oh. Yeah. The orbs are getting uppity. Yeah, they do that basically when it's like, okay, you've actually solved the day. It's like, oh, well, I can... Philippe. Yeah. I decided to, <laughs> I decided to write like that because it made me giggle. Harvey Osborne... Yes, that's a weird thing. Like, that's what I mean about the plot of this. It's like, you you start as a manhunter and you're working for the orbs, and then somehow you end up just not for no real reason, motivation, or understanding. It's just like, oh, this is what. Would you these do. orbs even know if you just gave them my like, false names? I did try just typing in like you know foot jab McBum cuddle and nothing. Well, if they already knew, know. if they already knew their name, why do they need you? I don't know. Maybe it's like one of those. Maybe it's like work for the doll. It's like they just give you silly little busy work to do to keep you occupied. Are we, are we ready to be awoken in the most intrusive possible way again? <laughs> yep. Wait for biscuits and floating eyes. Which is uh, wait a second. Reminds me of the eighth time I took acid. <laughs> So your teetotal now, is does that apply to... Everything. Like, narcotics as well? Yeah. I'm, so a friend of mine made a joke. It's like, hey, when are you getting your straight edge tattoos? And I've never wanted to hit another human being more than my <laughs> entire life. I, uh, just straight edge people. <laughs> wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Balls, balls, balls. I just have this image in my head that just fly around saying balls all the time. I'm reminded of the in intro of Portal 2. <laughs> And Wheatley just, a, Wheatley just bursts in. There is a Wheatley-ishness about the balls. There is a Wheatley. Or maybe there's a ballishness about the Wheatley. That's pretty. That's probably more accurate given that one game came before the other. Wheatley's pretty ballish. I actually replayed that just the other day. I want to get a Kickstarter going so that J.K. Simmons and the Portal Riders just do an hour of fresh, completely <laughs> context-free um, Cave Johnson information every year i need that because that 20 minutes the 27 minutes of dialogue from the portal dlc was brilliant so he should be um folding that uh, laptop screen back a bit mm. the way he's sitting he's, remember he's, back in the day when they had like a little handle and they were kind of like a briefcase and just they were like that they were like just that horrible they were for the professional man well that was back when they literally did nothing but word processing and spreadsheets so mm -hmm. there was no reason for you to have one Oh, good. We get to watch the little biscuit walk around the city, taking in the sights. And again. It's, yeah, this is an impressive video game in that it can make watching a biscuit walk about New York a boring thing. <laughs> that, that should be a fun sentence. It was like on Twitter, I, I have like, you know, those, you know, you'll get those weird sex bot followers, like the, the spam sex followers. And I don't understand don't how that's I've, supposed to work because they can't do anything to you. Like they just, they just go, I follow you. It's like, okay. No, and I don't it, think I've ever had sex bots follow me. You'll, 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 you'll know them when they crop up. Cause it'll be like some random photo of a girl, some random name. And then like, she'll say, Hey, I like cams and just have a link to some stupid fucking cam site. And it makes the sentence. I'm being followed by sex bots 
boring, which <laughs> upsets me to no end. That shouldn't, that's not a boring sentence. If I said to myself at 16, dude, in the, in, in the mighty future of 2012, you'll be getting followed by sex bots. My eyes would light up. Like I'd be, ah, oh, just, ah, oh, this is going to be awesome. The future, it's so close. Just, I'm going to tuck myself into bed and go to sleep so it can happen now. You know, for some reason, I'm picturing that one scene from Ransom where Mel Gibson is being kidnapped and he's talking to his boss on the phone and his boss says, are you being followed by sex bots? And Mel Gibson goes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sex bots. I hope I get those when, when it's in the future. Oh, joy. Four more things to track. Because <laughs> we haven't gotten enough biscuit tracking at this point. Oh, no, they're, they're locations. They're not biscuits. Oh, They're well. like, they're biscuit trays. Well, excuse me. Get it right! <laughs> Just, can't we... you tell by these amazing HD graphics? Are we going to Biscuit Town now? Yeah, it's the land of chocolate. Abdul's Pawn Shop. Nice. Yep. Oh, wait. Was that P-A-W-N? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, P-A-W-N. Well, no, I have to go oh. to the church first and do the thing that the guy's arm said. That's the less good pawn shop. <laughs> uh, I don't know. There are times when I don't need pawn. Oh, yeah, here we are. So this is, um... An eyeball's been... An orb's been killed. Oh, no. Can't forgive that. I actually like the little tune. It was good of that person who carved that middle... It was good of the person who carved that middle tombstone to arrange the words, so if there happened to be a dead orb positioned in front of it, he'd still be able to read them. Mm. That was a guy with forethought. Temporo spatial engineer. <sighs> it looks like a little, you know, gingerbread thought, house in the I, background of I that th shot I just there. thought you were admiring the hole in the ground. <laughs> no, it looked like a gingerbread house. Uh, and then we go to the church. Is the Statue of Liberty, like, ruined? Because that's the usual, like, thing that happens in the New York dystopia. Oh, get it? ready for an M. Night Shyamalan twist on this ruined Statue of Liberty in this game, you know what I'd say? Oh, Get joy. ready, yeah. And now, now I have a plan, so it's like, I'm not just sitting here going, I'm gonna light all the sadness candles, I'm not even sure what these candles do, to be honest. So that's one candle for the guy whose eyeballs boggled out when we met him in the, uh, like, in the mortuary. Mm. One, are you gonna light it or what? Should do, yeah, there we are. There you go. It's weird there for a second. And one candle for the dead Roberta Williams in a cupboard, and one candle for the dead guy with the ripped up robe we saw earlier. Notice there's interesting patterns on the door there, that's that's relevant. So there's you know. What happens if someone comes in and just happens to light those three candles? Well, I guess they get a mystery surprise for the day. I'd like to do that, like set up, you know, something like that where it's like a really obvious password and then like a little thing opens and a, a spy starts talking to them as though they've got a mission to accomplish like that one episode of the simpsons yeah Jeez. Yes, i think we're thinking of the same thing that was a good episode that it was, was a good bad. joke it's back when the show was still watchably good i want the blue guitar and then, yeah now you have to buy <laughs> could you, the could you stop snotting all over the board please <laughs> I'm going to hold this like nobody on earth holds it. Look at the positioning of his hand. He's got to have the most fucked up proportions of any human being. Is he going to shoot you now? No. It just seems like it's set out that he's going to do that. Oh, no. Ah, oh, your underpants are on display. You're not one of them uh, lucky guys in robes that get to wear whatever the fuck... I don't know if I'd be comfortable freeballing under a robe, you know. I like I like boxer shorts because worst comes to you know if, if you've lost you, yeah, okay. Whenever I hear the term freeballing, I always think of the song. Yeah, and no, I'm free, <laughs> freeballing. So the idea is the picture will contain the code, and this one I, I can see sort it. Of, There's a four there. Yeah, and presumably the thing on the left's a one. So it, the, the code's four one. It's not one four. Pretty much anything could be a one. Yeah, but I mean, here's the thing, and if anybody. Can actually work this out. That put it tree in the, in the background is a three on its side. Yeah. If anyone can explain to me how this was worked out, then please do it in the comments. But some of the pictures, I couldn't work out how the, the FAQ even figured out. A two-digit code? Oh, Wait, sure. Wait, it, like, gets, it gets harder. I mean, uh, trial and error is not going to... Uh, so, yeah, I'll, figure out where the fucking numbers are in this one. Oh, God. Oh, God. It looks it, like that witch is about to mate with either the spider, the skull, or the pumpkin, and they're not happy with it. It looks like the witch is like... Uh, just going, so how do you guys want to spend the Saturday night? And they all kind of like 
they kind of like don't like it. And they want to <laughs> yeah, just want to amuse themselves. We're not, we're, you know, we're not doing anything really. No, I'm not going out. I'm just gonna sit in and have it kind of boring. Hey, I'm tired. Hey, hey, do you guys, you guys, do you want to watch a porn? Uh, mm, yeah. No. And the pumpkin's going. Duh. Fuck no, I'm not watching. Porn. But the spider's going. Oh, actually, I might be even in the mood for a porn. And they're gonna have horrible, hate-filled, ugly sex. I had a porn night with friends once. You don't have to bring sex into it. We just watched bad porn for a while yeah, and ate fun. pizza. It was fun. I find those weird porn parody films they do just baffling, because I swear they can only ever be watched ironically. There's one, there's a porn parody of that terrible Adam Sandler movie, Click, and at no point during that Is film... Is it called Clit? I think so, it might be, yeah, <laughs> I'm as clever as Hollywood. Yeah, there's some classic porn wordplay there. Was the code 3-3 three, three in that instance? No. What was it? Uh, three, four, something, something. I can't remember. Actually, no, it was two, six. Uh, yeah. Okay, talk me through this one. The code is four. Like the code is whatever I push. I can't remember four, one, something, something. And I cannot work out how you were supposed to deduce that from that picture. Like that's the thing. If, if anybody like on YouTube who knows this, just feel free to chime in because I am curious. I'm curious how that puzzle was meant to be solved. What? That plant sure is in bad shape. Yeah, I think it might have something to do with branches on the two dead, or the three dead sort of brunt, like, you know, yeah, things there. Yeah, like... branches. I was looking at the shadow, trying to see if there was, like, numbers in the shadow. Yeah, see, I, I was looking for overt numbers, and I, I think they only did that for the first one. I think it got sort of more complicated as it went. Oh, gonna have to light another candle. Yeah. Phil's killed again, and that was Harry, if you didn't notice. There was a little name on his... The, the coats apparently have name tags, which oh is adorable. Oh my god, it's Phil, presumably. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. I'm following the plot at last. No, don't hit me. Yeah, this is another weird arcade moment that didn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, that was dumb. I don't even know what was going on. Yeah, that, that wasn't a cutscene. That was me having a duck and punch. I'm just like, am I going to die? Like What's happening? The program here? cycled through the sprites with the lowest possible frame rate for a while, and uh, you win. <laughs> Do you have to hold it upside down? No. And here's the thing, yeah, the, the, the man under assistance device had, like, a notes section, which you could tell they just forgot to use, like, the, 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 <laughs> the, the developers just completely forgot to use until this point, because it doesn't get, it doesn't do anything like scan where a guy went and say, oh, here's a way of getting through the park. It's some pretty well proportioned, it's pretty well uh, laid out buttocks as you went up that ladder. All these games in the 80s, that's all these graphic artists could do was butt cheeks. It was almost almost the Future Wars jumpsuit level, I think. I don't think anything can really get to that level. That was, that was pure pixelated cheek heaven. It, I still see it every time I close my eyes. <laughs> it haunts me. Where are we going now, then? Um, well, have we, have the... we won yet? Where's Phil gone? Uh, Phil's escaped to um, somewhere, and we're going to Harry's house now, so oh, we're going to the theatre Why first. is Phil killing all the Resistance? Because he's a double agent for the Orb. Right. So why are we hunting him? Shouldn't we be, like, saying, good on you, mate? I know. Have that would make sense, wouldn't it? I mean, <laughs> it seems like that fight in the sewers could have been avoided if you just said, hey, I'm, I'm a man hunter. <laughs> yeah. so, I know. Oh, sorry. I thought you were another of the guys I'm supposed to kill, because apparently it there is no limit to those. <laughs> it doesn't give you a good explanation as to why... I mean, at, at no point does your character go, I hate the orbs. It's just sort of presumed that you don't like the orbs. Well, well, they they keep bursting into his bedroom first thing in the morning. Yeah, that's true. I, I, I them. probably wouldn't be too fond of anything that did that. So you see, you see, see. Mm-hmm. A cuck. Is that someone's name? Um, no, it's a uh, it's a password for late. Of course, it is. It's just password after password after password. This is like the film National Treasure. <laughs> It, I would love to see someone like you know do a, a ROM hack or an edit of this, or it just makes it a national treasure game. There need to be more games starring Nicolas Cage. I I'm trying to think of one. I don't think there are any. Are there any tie-in games for films he's been in? <laughs> there might be a Ghost Rider game. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think there is. Yeah, that was that's the best the best hope I've got. Uh, they look, could make it just a little flash game of um, him punching Lily Sobieski in the stomach from a. Uh, um, we have Wicker had, Man. We've had to go off topic so many fucking times. Because <laughs> this game is so fucking dull. Yeah. Well, I was worried Legend of Zelda and Halloween Harry, or was it? Harry's Who Done It was dull. That, that wasn't so much dull as it was incredibly poorly made. 
<laughs> yeah. This, this is Look at that art on the left. That is a ama- that is eighties like fucking is, sex pad this art. This is perfectly competently made. People put time into the art as much time as as much time as it takes to create a beautiful artistic feature like that. It looks about as good as it could with sixteen colors and the yeah. resolution available. Like a modern day Jackson Pollock. Incredibly dull. Mm. I mean, you couldn't really call this a game, really. I mean, it's kind of like... No. What would you call no, this? this? I mean, it's like, like calling a spreadsheet a game. This is like one of those incredibly tedious Flash games where you have to escape the room. But yeah. extend it out to an entire <laughs> city. Choose your own adventure without the adventure element. <laughs> that is truly the, wor- the hellish post-apocalyptic world. An entire world of escape the room. Where the, lo- the, the logic of a single escape the room game is extended to an entire planet. <laughs> Oh, That's... that guy didn't like having to turn his neck. No. He was like, "Fuck you guys! I'm not. I'm not going to admit to enjoying this at all." There's a great. You'll 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 see a great picture of Philip later that <laughs> it, it, that will stay in you know your mind's eye for a long time. It's horrifying. Well, it'll have to find room next to the Future Wars buttocks. <laughs> I think I'll get along great. Like <laughs> Philip's Philip's face and Future War cheeks. You know, if we play more of these shitty shitty games, soon you'll have like a whole person to masturbate over. All right. YouTube, we've found a task for you. I want to see fan art of Philippe's face and the Future Wars buttocks hanging out. Maybe Who's sharing body. Maybe sharing a flat. Maybe like a, a sort of buddy cop duo. <laughs> uh, uh, odd couple kind of thing because the head, the head, you know, the head's very high minded. It's 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 it's, it's an intellectual, and the buttocks is all fart jokes. So you know they they Could they sort of get along. That's the only way it can communicate. They learn stuff about each other at the end of every episode. You know, future wars buttocks. You didn't wash up. <laughs> 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 oh, Future Wars buttocks, I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> future Wars buttocks, did you use all the toilet paper again? <laughs> well, you're I, right, I really don't use any, so good point. Well, I do like to sometimes clean mashed up cornflakes from my neck stump. <laughs> neck stumps. Uh, Cleaning neck stumps is hard. And they're still using f- uh, five and a quarter inch floppies in the future, I see. Yeah, but now they hold it. like three megabytes worth of information. Uh, well, we'll it's astonishing what, how, what amazing future technology there will be uh, I love old ads for like storage software or storage medium it's just like you can get this whole extra hard drive for a thousand dollars it holds 500 megabytes I you mean, know if you've ever wanted to catalogue every thought you've ever had meanwhile you brought this file to me on a USB key with the head of one of the Incredibles I think uh, no that's a uh, it was a weird little knockoff Green Lantern USB yeah, but let's not even go into that. <laughs> one day, one day we'll, we'll do a whole podcast on that topic and it'll be funny. Hey, it's that robot that was... The look at it, that look had at only it. one function, to block doors. Yeah, now I've moved it. Oh, well, now we're watching like a sitcom where the orb and the robot are like sharing a flat. No, 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 Orb and robot. The robot has a penis thing for some reason. Yeah, they're the next door neighbours to Philippe's head and Future Wars buttocks. <laughs> Cull and buttocks and their wacky neighbours, orb and robot. I think we've found our pilot. <laughs> Coming up after Spoon and Fridge. <laughs> this is what we will be submitting to HBO. <laughs> this will yeah. be the next Breaking Bad. <laughs> yeah, it absolutely will. It's like, Fridge runs out of Freon. That's like the season finale. We'll be rich. <laughs> Fucking millionaire Hollywood producers, you see. That's when I'll get back into cocaine again. It'll be great. I completely lost track of the plot of this game, and I don't care. <laughs> I'm making up my own one at this point. Have some rum. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make this fly by. You know the best the best part? We aren't the only ones who've done Let's Plays of this game. Oh, I'm sure we haven't. No, every, every game has been done. Someone's yeah. already done Poacher. Well, and of course. I, I don't know that because I've been searching for it since the day it came out or mm. anything. Actually, several people have done poetry. And you know what's the most, like, hideous thing to listen to in the world? Mm. Americans trying to do northern accents. Like, <laughs> North England accents. Yeah, because a North English accent's a weird thing. You can't really... It's a weird thing that you really have to be English to get, you know? Yeah. And that's not even... A... That's, yeah, that that's was, bad. That and was you're... terrible. That was and terrible. You're, aren't you from the Midlands area? Uh, or... Well, I kind of grew up with a received pronunciation accent because mm. I spent my whole childhood watching Have I Got News For You. Yeah, I suppose. It's like how I'm from Brisbane, but don't talk like this, can't. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even do a good Bergen accent. Basically, the northern accent is where you replace the word the with a, with a T and an apostrophe. <laughs> uh, I'm going down to pub. 
down to pub. Sounds a little bit like Kalahari Bushman. Gonna eat fish and chips. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Put kettle on, mother. <laughs> it is a weird, it's a beautifully weird accent. Wait, that was the Statue of Liberty? Yeah, What's with it? an antenna in its head for science and for things. For evil supervillain schemes. Yeah, or it could be a straw and you're drinking its sweet liberty juice. <laughs> you're drinking the Statue of Liberty's brain. Yeah. That's where America gets its freedom supplies from. You're drinking all that pink goo that's left over from <sighs> Ghostbusters 2. River of Slime! The mood slime, man. Mood slime. Has that robot got a huge cock? Or is yeah. it just me? Enormous blue shaft. That was that's what we call reaching for the low hanging fruit. <laughs> the pendulous low hanging fruit. Yes. Yeah. Swinging there in the breeze, knee length. He could indeed swing it to and fro and tie it in a knot and chuck it out in a bow. I, I was seeing the Jim Rose Travelling Freak Show back when I was like 14, it was great. And not just that, but swinging over his shoulder like a regimental soldier. <laughs> he was talking about Lifto, and Lifto had this bit where he attached a like fucking 50 kilo brass bell to his what? cock and swung it. Did we die? What happened? Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think that says it all. Probably. <laughs> Wait, why did the three men appear? All you did was like select quit, and then these dudes just... What? Was quit? Did the computer interpret your instruction as quit Some life? Suicide, yeah. Quit everything. Somewhere there's a punishment, you know. I want to, but you have to play through this and Manhunter too. So did, has like the Cloverfield monster been around taking bites out of everything? Because that's what apparently that's apparently how we depict a, a post-apocalyptic city. Just, mm, just, just like bites taken out of it. Munches. Oh, hello. <laughs> Why are you being ordered to return home immediately? Yeah, see, well, <laughs> shit, this is more serious than we thought. Orbs want your bitch ass dead, man. It's time. Is it, it's time. Is it you know what? And the funny thing is, if I put a robe on you, later you get to see a good close up of Philip's face. If I put a robe on you, you could pass for Philip. Oh, wow. Well. I, I think so. You know, I'm, I'm, I kind of suspect you. It's nice to know I will be, my face will be remembered alongside jumpsuit buttocks <laughs> well it's that's that's the thing like I, you know i do a lot of squats so i could play buttocks and you can play phillips head <laughs> phillips head screwdriver <laughs> i just like mentally inserted that when you said phillips head uh, phillips head and the screwdrivers it sounds like a good <laughs> good band name though yeah like patent that shit more wafer biscuits <laughs> wake up <laughs> wake up more 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 Hello, 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 hello. Wake up. Are you awake yet? Wake up. Uh, How do you lose a fight to a vulnerable area? Like, that's what I mean. Like, that's... It's an eyeball. That's a... Eyeballs hurt to get hit in, you know? It's like fighting an alien species composed entirely of testicle. Wait, we're being transferred now? Is yeah. That, is that like we're getting too close to the truth sort of thing? Pretty much. We get transferred to Chicago. <sighs> you know, I started reading the Dresden Files. I'm kind of reminded of it. Hmm. What's the Dresden Files? That rings a bell. It's the uh, it's the series of books about this private eye who's a wizard. Oh, cool! That sounds fun. Yeah, is it, it fun? Yeah, it's like a contemporary fantasy. Uh, it's the real spy. world, but there's also magic. I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's kind of fun. You take the standard and just say, you know what? All this stuff does exist. You just don't see it because you suck. Yeah, pretty much. It goes on in the background. It's a great conspiracy. You miss out. It's a masquerade. <laughs> a vampire, the masquerade. I used to play that. I'd say. A very non-combat oriented vampire, the masquerade game. I've heard that. <laughs> Let's talk about whatever random bullshit springs to mind, because I don't even know what the hell this is. Well, this is me doing computer hacking, and wait until you see the mini game they have to illustrate computer hacking in the future this oh. is it look at this i want you to watch what's happening and this this can be philip's head's girlfriend this thing on the right <laughs> it looks like a character from like a it's commodore 64 educational game oh christ it does too just wait until you see what happens though because i read this twice and had no idea even what the fucking what i was supposed to be doing with this game i have no clue what's going on look at her face she's already like oh god this is the most embarrassing day of my life yeah, wait for it so apparently i tagged something and and then it... so you're just trying to like and then this happens what? are you just trying to like blast things towards the the things 
I don't know, that's it thinking, and then it's like, nope, it, what? that wasn't the thing I wanted, so I'm just like, you know what, I have no idea how to even begin working this out, I'm just going to click what the hell ever. This is a screensaver, this is bananas. <laughs> I don't know, man, I couldn't look at that thing on the right, it, uh, it just something about it scares me. Hello? Yeah. Well, I'm the Mekon's girlfriend. I'm oh. giving you Down syndrome, and you don't even know it. Yeah, see... I like to think in our sitcom, this is just a thing that lives behind the fridge. <laughs> and every now and again, they move the fridge and it just goes. <laughs> and no. They quickly put the, <laughs> put the fridge, fridge back. back. No wait, you'll see the face. It actually makes that face that you just <laughs> the sound you just made. Be prepared, it's about to happen. Oh, I'm looking forward to it now. Oh yeah, no, I'm not. It's again, it's 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 it scares me on one of those weird ways that like a, a scary clown scary. Yeah, scary in a way you can't quite put down. Yeah, there it goes. That's its face. <laughs> yeah. And well, then it's least, just sad again. Like, there's something about the faces that thing falls. At least just... someone's having a good time. <laughs> and I'm just back to, oh, God, I blew it again. <laughs> what? Why can't I just tell him how I really feel? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just Jesus just desperately in love with Philip's head. <laughs> Philip's head and space buttocks. I just don't even know what to say, so I just default to going... Rawr, rawr. <laughs> That's, you know, it, when, back when I used to drink, that is how I would hit on women. <laughs> did it ever work? Sadly, yes. I bet it did. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, sadly, I what, yes. I know what kind of women you used to hit on. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I don't hit on women. I'm, I'm, I'm more like a trapdoor spider. I just sort of sit there, lie in wait. And then yeah, eventually something comes along and... Uh, has pity on me. Yeah. Or thinks that it can change me. That's always that's always a step. I'm gonna fix him. No, no, you're not. You know, like the easiest way to get like married is apparently to be in prison in America for several extremely hideous murders. Because there's this, <laughs> there's this like it was on QI. There's a special mental disorder. It's got a name that you that you're really attracted to the worst of the worst. Ah, uh, that's great. Well, that explains my sex life. Like uh, puzzle solved. Yes. So I, I, God, I, I, was, I was saying something there, but then, like, <laughs> I just looked at the screen and my brain was instantly flooded with NUI. <laughs> on we. On we, sorry. NUI, what the friggin' hell? Yeah, I was never been sure. I've been recording my audiobook and that word came up at one point. It's a beautiful word, and so it, I had, it, I had the to, concept I, of little straits is fantastic. I had to record, I couldn't remember how it was pronounced, so I had to record the word in every possible pronunciation and then, like, look it up. Well, doesn't Google have a little. You just click on it and do well, it. Well, I wasn't going to stop recording to look it up. Fair enough. Ennui. It's French. It's beautiful. I, lo I fucking love that word. It's, it's one of my favorite words. Ennui. And yeah, now, the, now that little cock robot's gone. Well, the thing about... Uh, or at least that's what I suspect. The thing about all French words is that they kind of sound like something dirty. Mm. Oh, you got a little bit of ennui there, my good lady. A French friend of mine was making this stew once, and it was called like Boeuf Corot or something, which is just beef and carrot. Yeah. Except the way he said it made it sound like he said birth canal. <laughs> and I was like, this isn't some weird pate oh. made of that or something. Oh, God, look, his dangling cock is <laughs> dripping something. <laughs> it's gone a bit septic. You want to get some uh, anti you know, antibiotics for that, man? That, that's nightmarish. That's, that's even more nightmarish than just being chased by a killer robot. Yes. Yeah, just chased by a killer robot, and also its cock's hanging out. <laughs> I'm the T Ray Pondred. <laughs> Was there any way to escape that? No, that's just a, that's a cutscene. You okay. just watch it, and then you're thrown in here. Well, <laughs> well, this doesn't bode well. That, that right there, I think, is the best graphics in the game. Oh my! Oh my God! It's the <laughs> corpse of Goldie. <laughs> <laughs> dee, 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 dee. It has nice music too. I like that little tune. Yeah, great choice of music dee, there. Dee, dee, skeletons <laughs> all over the room. We're having a lovely time with skeletons. I'd love to do that, like, just have a house, like, just collect, like, I don't know, old anatomy skeletons, and just fill, like, a cupboard of my house just full of bones. Oh my Just for God. someone to just stumble along and just open it one day, and it's just full of fucking bones. Bodies being minced. It's people! Yep. Soylent Green is people! Yeah, this is the basic thing, is, you know, people have, you know, this is what happens to all the people who disappear. They get chopped up and the orbs eat them. That was why the little baby orbs ate you earlier. Well, at least they're not feeding it to people. I'd eat people, I don't care, I'd eat soil and green, I'm, I'm okay with that. Well, you'll enjoy Walking Dead. Mm-hmm. The, the video game series. Well, uh, yeah, the second part of that came out recently. Yes, I've been writing a review of it. Oh, good. 
let's talk about vastly talk, more interesting yeah, games than this. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about a game that's actually fun and enjoyable. I mean, they just revealed that humans are being minced up, and somehow it was still boring. And I decided to walk in while the robot was still there, just to show me and getting turned into You've been turned into some kind of kanji symbol. <laughs> I've been turned into Japanese. That's that's like a nightmarish laser, isn't it? <laughs> it turns you into a foreign language. That's an interesting. That's there's some interesting sort of existential philosophy behind a gun that can turn you into a foreign language. Uh, what word would you be in kanji, Artsy? What would you get tattooed on your hip? Um, uh, shouting bellend. <laughs> you know, I bet they exactly have a kanji that would fit that. I mean, it'd probably directly translate more to, like, shrieking penis hood, but it's the same thing, <laughs> essentially. Yeah, it works, it works. <laughs> that, that could be my Native American name as well. <laughs> shrieking penis hood. Because it was the first thing the mother saw after I was born. <laughs> <laughs> you were shrieking, and there was a penis. It's like, oh, look at that, shrieking penis hood. There we are. My father was a very sick man. <laughs> Bad sense of humour. You know the first words I ever heard were Welcome to the House of Fun because Dad had that song stuck in his head? <laughs> nice. Were those, were those your first words? No, 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 no. no but I do love that song. No. It's no, pretty good. No, no, no. Madness. Yeah. Is the band. I have, I know that. Yeah. Makes me, wonderful. It makes me feel like watching Young Ones now. Yes. Do you know why the Young Ones had um, a musical act on it? Full time? Uh, no, actually, because uh, if they were merely a sitcom, they had, like, a certain... Like budget that was set aside for sitcoms. Oh, some weird BBC they, thing, right? But if they had live music on, they classified as light entertainment, which got a bigger budget. Well, good on them. I mean, they had, like, fucking Motorhead on. They, you know, they were... Now you're poised like a cat to do something boring. Yeah. I realized the boring thing was coming, so I think I edited it just so you can see what happens when I go through the butcher. Well, what? Why did we go back? So I can go through the mincer. <laughs> oh, of course. Du, 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 du. Ah! I like how your hands were still moving. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to, trying to crawl away. Even while your buttocks were sliced apart. Cheeks. Move the handle up or down. Um, One way and puts you in the mincer. Phil's head. <laughs> Well said. I guess the most productive thing we've gotten out of this whole Let's Play is a, a yeah. treatment for an excellent sitcom. Anybody yeah. who wants to make a YouTube sitcom based around Phil's head and no, space buttocks... No, fuck those people. I'm going to make okay. it. Okay, look at write, this. I'm going to write the pilot script this very day. Awesome. This game... I'm not really, before anyone asks. I will, because I'm bored. Oh, and now we're playing the most boring possible adaptation Dude, of Donkey Kong. This looks like a video game, an educational video game about STDs, and it looks like a penis dodging herpes. Look at that thing and tell me that's not a cock. <laughs> it's even got a little foreskin fold for, like, look at it, it's like, I'm a penis crawling around, dodge the herpes, make sure you wear a condom, kids, educational games. It's a dark-skinned man's, man's cock. Well, they exist. What a very racist educational game, thinking that the dark-skinned man's cock is more likely to be <laughs> <know>. assaulted by <laughs> STDs every time. I think the exact name of the game is um, Nigger Herpes Escape. <laughs> <laughs> now that's what it was called in Japan. Yes. You know, there was a game I used to play at the door of the bar was convincing people of weird shit. And I convinced at least a dozen people that um, the sort of stock name they had for all the Balrog graphics in the, the original Street Fighter were Punch Negro. <laughs> I got so many people to believe that. They just go, really? I was like, yeah, man, fucking, you know, Japan in 1991. And they're just like, oh, yeah, that does make sense. That's uh, weird. There are so many, like, even stupider things that you couldn't even make up. Yeah, that's Japan. that's the worst part, is that sounds dumb and horrible and racist. Not a touch on the real stuff, though. And, of course, as everyone knows, uh, the character we know as Bullrog was called M. Bison in Japan because mm. it was a reference to Mike, Mike Tyson. Yeah, his name was Mike... In, in, in Street Fighter 1, the original, his name was Mike Bison. They didn't want to risk, uh, you know, the, the lit litigation. When so, you think so about in it, the West, In the West, they, like, switched the names around. Yeah. So the character we know as M. Bison is known in Japan as uh, Vega. And uh, Vega's Balrog. Yes. It's confusing. I don't know why they had to bring Vega into it. Okay, look, you see how I can climb up any of these ropes? If you get knocked down, you just go, oh, fuck it, and walk all the way back to the start for no other reason. Like, there's no reason. It's like there's a conveyor belt taking you just, along. Your walking animation just makes me think of someone going, oh boy, 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 oh
because <laughs> clean penis get yeah. to the red window clean penis yeah oh god so the red window is dripping stuff <laughs> yeah it's dripping herpes I'm not sure I want to get involved with this red window anymore <laughs> uh, go penis get to the red window it's quite like elevator action yeah Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I've got herpes. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Have to escape the herps. Have to escape the herps. Gotta get that shit treated. <sighs> so many more deaths um, do you have? Um, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, that, that was the last one. Because this, this was me officially like, okay, I'm getting annoyed with ah, this now. Are you safe scumming now? Yeah. That's the way to do it. I mean, Sierra Games has all but told you to. Because there they were so many bullshit enforced deaths. forced that yeah. so brutally. They said, save early, save often. That was their motto. Which is not fun. <laughs> I don't understand why they do that. No. And rather than open the window or do anything, I just hurl myself out of it. Oh god, it's the Matrix Reloaded. Yeah. Apparently, like, this guy's See, mutant ability, like... Again, our tone has just gone yeah. all over the place again. Just discovered humans are being ground up for food for aliens. Oh, uh, oh hello again, corpse. Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> you haven't well, moved at all. Well, bye. Toodle oo. I'm off to Grand Central Station. Yati yati. Only like 13 minutes left. Awesome. I know. Somehow we've made we've made it through most of this. The, uh, the excruciating torment. And again, like the, this was not fun to play, record, edit. <laughs> oh, now we're in Steel Battalion. All of a sudden. Fuck yeah, spaceships that control horribly. I was playing uh, Steel Battalion, the new one that's on Connect. Most that doesn't look like it'd work. Absolutely unplayable piece of shit. Because <laughs> the previous Steel Battalion games that they came with a fucking yeah. massive, ridiculous controller with 500 buttons, which I could see myself enjoying using. For novelty you know, purposes, yeah. It's, it's that, you know, that little boyish fantasy everyone has of working a forklift. Mm. You see if, like, Anything with a, a shitload of controls. Or a crane. Just, yeah. just going, I want to be at the helm of a machine like that with 500 levers. I demand to control that awesome might. And I want half the levers just to make funny noises. <laughs> I'm going to swing this wrecking ball into a building. And it's like when you're it. when you're a very small child and you're given one of those activity centres, mm. like a little squeaky nose or a little mirror, a little jangly bell. It's like that, but for men. Men. That's what a crane is. <laughs> we should rent like a bulldozer or a steamroller or something and just drive it around <laughs> in a you know abandoned lot and just run shit over. Or It'll just, be a fun afternoon. I'll just take, like, temp work in a warehouse until I teach you how to use the forklift. You have to get a forklift license. They don't just teach you. Dull. Yeah, it's, there's, a, there's, there's a whole system in place to prevent people like us from doing things like this. See, this is, illustrates so much that you're trying to pilot a spaceship and we're just talking about forklifts. <laughs> because it's somehow more interesting. <laughs> Forklift licenses, you know, it's a good way to... Uh, you know, there uh, are video uh, games trade. that are basically forklift simulators. And they're Shenmue, more interesting. we already talked about this. But even, even like, without the rest of Shenmue, mm. there are games that are just straight forklift simulators. And they're more interesting than mm. this. That puzzle game, um, Shove It, the warehouse game. Yeah. Have you seen that? Because that's the fantasy all the boys and girls have growing up, aren't they? Becoming yeah. their very own warehouse operative. Yeah, I'm going to move these boxes around efficiently. So, what's going on? I'm getting my spaceship up and running. So what were those little blue things that came into our spaceship? Um, Protecto robots that were trying to get me, but they couldn't because the spaceship was closed. Ha! Fuck you, Protecto robots. Yeah. Suck the many dicks of the Omni Lord. Yay, now we're flying an orb ship. So yeah. these controls are, like, set up for orbs to use. Yeah, and for some reason you can use them. That's fucked. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I know you haven't been paying attention to much of this game, but it's probably the least fucked aspect of it. And, oh uh, yeah, okay, so moving the ship, it's like one of those little satellite landing games, you know, where it's kind of... Oh, Except lovely. take the Lander. playability away from that. Yeah, like, ma ma take Lunar Lander and add fuzzier controls, and you have steering this fucking and thing the around. controls in Lunar Lander are pretty fucking fuzzy. Yeah. yeah. This is like eighth stage kitten fuzzy. It's like playing Lunar Lando with a uh, wearing with with oven mitts on your mm. hands, welding gloves. What are you? What are you? Are you controlling this now? It took me that long to work out that I was even in control. Because I'm tapping, I'm holding. I'm just like, am I am I flying it now? Am I? And I'm like, oh shit, I fucking am. So I was like, all right, I guess I go to the hole. You have to get through that very narrow little gap. Yeah, and guess what? This gives me the most boring thing alive. <laughs> a sweet ass mini game. I was right. Yeah. And it's another maze. Yeah. The funny thing is that I went into this going, okay, 
What what are the basic mechanics of this game? Horrible controls. Okay, where will I have to go? The hardest fucking route. And I was dead right. Like I I I, I took the, the that route the first. There I was like, okay. Go. And then I was like, okay, I, I know exactly how to get through this maze now. I make no more mistakes. I pick the right way every time. Do you get destroyed if you crash into a wall or you just no. bounce off? You just bounce in a frustrating get, and annoying manner. I got the feeling you just bounced off. Yes, because you're a ball. You are a bouncy ball. That is presumably how the ship is designed. Mm. It's uh, I words and vision can't describe how fidgety and annoying this was to I'm control. Suddenly reminded of Minecraft, which I would rather be playing right now. I mean, I've actually taken to playing Minecraft. A friend set up one of those multiplayer survival servers for oh, me really? and like a few other people I know. You can join that if you want. We'll let you in. Oh sure, I've been you playing can... a bit of uh, hardcore mode lately. All oh, right, that's, the, that's you, the real deal. Yeah, if you die, it deletes the entire world. <laughs> yeah, just have to start again. Okay, here was something amazingly fun about the Minecraft server we were playing. Our spawn point was in the middle of a fucking jungle for some baffling reason and really far away from the first spawn point we had. So we had this great setup, this house, you know, tower. I was building this big friggin' thing. And I, d I died because my laptop is fucking shithouse. And it chunked up when there was like four skeletons trying to kill me and I couldn't fight, so then I just died. I respawn somewhere I don't know where I am in this huge Minecraft world. I'm in a forest. I haven't even seen a rainforest yet. So I'm like, how the fuck do I get there? It's very, it's, it's very easy to get lost if, you don't, yeah. if you're not careful in Minecraft. And here I am like, I've got no idea how to get back to base. This, this is going to keep happening. So I worked out, like I got Ben to look at the sun, work <laughs> out where the sun was. I'm like, okay, I've got to go in that direction. And then I went to my phone and looked up the Indiana Jones music and then just set that. And it's just me legging it through this rainforest, like in this direction of home to the Indiana Jones music and I have not had as much fun with a video game in years it was I like the, the, the smile on my face was just bolted there with rivets of joy it was fantastic small things please small minds dude come on running anywhere with the Indiana Jones theme in your ears is just awesome fun like if you have you, if you ever been running for a bus I was once like walking like uh, on my through like the suburbs going to the supermarket mm. and I just started humming the Indiana Jones theme and then I got kind of into it then I was like belting it at the top of my voice <laughs> and then I noticed there was a guy walking like five yards behind me and I was like oh, <laughs> that's hilarious but he wanted to shake my hand yeah fair enough well I mean that's the thing like different music for different times like I find if I have to run for anything like a bus or a train the Indiana Jones music will get me that fucking bus like it doesn't matter what <laughs> it doesn't matter if I'm clinging to the roof of it I will get on that bus but if you're ever just driving around the suburbs and do try this because it's loads of fun download and play the theme to Twin Peaks <laughs> because Everything is creepy when you're driving around the suburbs with the Twin Peaks music. It's Let's fantastic. see how many more like completely irrelevant topics we can bullshit our way into throughout the course of this stupid fucking maze. This is Nano Prostate Exam Stage Two. <sighs> yeah, you know I can see that. Mm. This is like the uh, colonic irrigation simulator. <laughs> Colonoscopy adventure. <sighs> It is an impressively dull game. Really is. Like game is. I do. I, I think. I, like I said, I, I did play it at one point, though I didn't get very far on it, and I think I realised <laughs> why. Yeah. Because I got. I got to use my time to play. Um, Anything else? Future Wars and shit. Yeah. Games. With I love that you bought Future Wars over my island. Games <laughs> where you throw water balloons at giant robot wolves. That's my kind of fun. Yeah, stuff that makes sense. Well, actually, quite near the end now. Yeah. Is this like the climax? Yes, we are pretty much right at the end. Fucking A. <laughs> it's over. Oh, God, it's over. It kind of looks like a dead end you're heading to, but I'm hope presuming it isn't. No. Well, do you notice that's the... Yeah, the, I noticed the... there's a little squiggly little ass yeah, thing. Yeah, that's the toilet. <laughs> okay, then. Are you going to get unsucked down it? No, nope, I'm going to bust out. You're gonna bust a move. Yeah, I'm gonna like juggernaut this shit. And just I'm unstoppable. I would give anything for. Oh yeah, exploding toilets. Fuck yeah. You know how to finish a game at Sierra. I'd give anything for a Sidorak gem. I just, I'd, I'd, if if I became the juggernaut, I'd just run places. I'd wake up in the morning and be like, going for a run, and I wouldn't. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> see what I mean? That's uh, you can pull that face <laughs> if you if you like fiddle with the goatee tad. You know, I probably could. Yeah, and I think we, we should do that. We should, like, go to Nova as the most obscure costume possible. <laughs> Just, I'm Philip from Manhunter, you idiot. You can stand with all the people who cosplay as their fanfiction characters. Oh, God. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I interviewed one of those ones. Oh, those poor mutants. They're priceless. If you get one in front of a camera, 
you got material for our five minute segment right there <laughs> Those adorable loons. You know, well, you were talking about the Indiana Jones theme for when mm. you're, like, uh, running, but at the moment when you burst out of the ground, I liked to imagine the E.T. theme. <laughs> Which, they're both John Williams, aren't they? Yeah. Good on, good old John Williams. Music mm-hmm. for every occasion. Yeah, there's a, I mean... The well, only we, actually, we actually genuinely are 90,000 feet above the ground at last. Yep, I'm actually trying, and again, steering this thing, not fun. We'll see how it all comes together. Oh, and now we get to bomb New York. Yes. Obviously, you're going to bomb uh, the, the the Twin Towers. Um, no, they're actually the only thing they get out of this sounds good. Can you randomly bomb anything? No. Well, you can, but you have four bombs and you have four locations to properly bomb. And right. if you bomb a proper location, uh, and here's what happens if you bump into Phil. Fuck you, Phil. Yeah. And then look at Phil's happy face. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Ding dong, the witch is dead. That's the face a pedophile pulls when someone just looks at him and goes, hey, you can mind the kids for half an hour, right? Like, that's just... <laughs> and then in his head, he's hearing choral singing. Yes, hallelujah. So, it's just, yeah, my kid's got this weird mental disorder where he forgets things. <laughs> so, <laughs> Just look after him for half an hour. Just, yeah, he'll be fine. Give him a bath. Look, I blow up the Statue of Liberty. They didn't even, like... Put the head into a street somewhere. That's what they usually do. Yeah. Well, no, that's me. Because these, these are locations the orbs are using, so I have to, oh, I have to blow right. up the Statue oh, of Liberty. I was, was going to ask, why do you need to bomb these specific locations, and how did you know? Uh, you know, like... The, the, <laughs> yeah, oh. No, you don't, because we all t- tuned out. Um, yeah, you have to bomb the hospital. <laughs> ah, fuck you, hospital. When you're going through the computer, it has site alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and you have to go to these things and blow them up. I, that guy, you're, you're in the cockpit going, I have never been so hard in my life. <laughs> I don't even need to come. This is amazing. Uh-huh. And there's me fucking up a bombing. So that's what happens when you bomb nothing. That was somebody's house. I don't even care. <laughs> Whee! Bink. Oh, I, I just got my come up and uh, I just got I just got filled in the briefest oh, possible ex- face. Okay, the briefest possible explosion. <laughs> Here's the thing I was thinking of doing when I was editing to like just make the video more fun. I was just going to edit single frames of that face of Phil just interspersed throughout <laughs> the video. I think you would be paying for my underpants. <laughs> What's that? Fuck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Like, I'm just gonna just add that. I, I, okay, there's another task no, YouTube. I want a good, like, high res version of Phil Face there. No, you, what you want to do is get an avatar that draws the eye, and but it's an animated GIF, mm. and then like one frame out of fifty is like his face. <coughs> so you draw people's eye. Like, maybe get one of those animated GIFs that you sometimes see on Tumblr of a lady taking her pants off, <laughs> and just click to. Phil, he's watching you masturbate and he likes it. And just as the buttocks are getting uncovered. <laughs> bing! I remember, um, uh, what was it? It was, um... Yay, we fucked the shit out of Grand Central Station. Suck it, New York. Um, uh, six feet under. I'm never six feet drinking under. coffee again! <laughs> this is all you need! Uh, the show Six Feet Under had, like, there was this redhead girl who was in it who was unbelievably attractive, like, really, really, really pretty. And at one point she was, like, being an artist and wanting to have lots of lesbian sex with this other unbelievably pretty blonde girl. Well, why would And it's HBO. So it gets to a point where they're, like, talking about masturbating in front of each other and this girl starts unzipping her, like, jeans and starts sliding her hand out her pants and it is unbelievably hot, like, amazing. And then it cuts to her gay male cousin getting plowed in the ass, like, jump cuts <laughs> to him, like, sweaty, leaning into the camera going, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, getting drilled. Yes. And I sat there and just stared with my mouth hanging open, like, that was amazing. And I just said to a friend of mine sitting next to me, dude, did you hear that sound? That was the sound of a million hands recoiling from a million penises. <laughs> Because it was it was some rough gay sex, and it I was think, so think... deliberately put. Like, and there it is. I bomb the Empire State Building, and there's Phil having his you know forgetful child taken away from him. <laughs> happy Phil, not happy Phil, not happy Phil. Do you want to see not happy Phil? Well, keep right at it, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Phil you want to be seeing. Yeah, and here's the best part. So, I come downstairs after like blowing up. Look at that swagger. You yeah, had, you've had a good time. <laughs> Now I'm imagining the A-Team theme. Or DJ Yoda's awesome recut of the A-Team theme. That's awesome, oh, look, people. Look it up if you can find is it. Is doing, like, a little break dance there? Yeah, check it, man. There's some, there's some moves being busted. He's walking like an Egyptian. Yeah, and then doing something peculiar. Why do these guys even understand what you just did? Yeah, hey, someone just destroyed half the city. Yay for him. Yeah. He finished the job that the Cloverfield <laughs> monster started. And then here comes Phil. 
<laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck y'all niggas. And then, yeah, I'm just like, oh, oh well. And then cut to Happy Phil face. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He, he, he does, I'm sure there was a Happy Phil grin somewhere. You know... Yep, there he is. Ah, meanwhile, he is. yeah. And then, uh, yeah, then Phil escapes, and I go after him off to the um, scenic city of uh, San Francisco for Manhunter 2, which I will totally do as my next game to just annoy the shit out of No, you fucking <laughs> yeah. won't. No, dude, relax. I'm not. I'm. I'm. Next I, time, I deleted Manhunter 2 when I finished this. I was like, no, I'm, this is not not occurring. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm ordering. You know, you're gonna do something like fucking Contra 3 next time. And I'm gonna punch <laughs> you so hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be continued and much like um, to be continued except not yeah well it's, again, it's uh, Shenmue 2 it you know, builds to something amazing and then was there a, even a credit sequence no. no well the credits were in the beginning when the eyeball remember there's like eight people oh, made so, these games so, so they were yeah, and the eyeball drifts past some graffiti I miss films that would put like the credits at the start so they could just really <laughs> abruptly end like, to be fair though now like credits especially for a movie with loads of special effects and stuff the, the credits go for like five minutes you can't put that at the start of a film I guess well you could just like subtly interweave it into the entire film <laughs> just like a uh, like that maybe seems like a, weird and unnecessary. Like a superimposed caption here, just like a billboard there. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, just every billboard is like the graphic design guy's face. Then you could end staring unendingly at you. You could end like the Monty Python and the Holy Grail ending. <laughs> just go, bum, dead, gone. Uh, the not as good Monty Python film. Because what you realize we have to do is that at the end of this video, we have to put like a little period of silence. And then suddenly cut to Phil's face with the most hideous noise playing that I can find. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll put up a map image and say, you know, if you look really close, there's an Easter egg. And then just a scream in Phil's, like, yeah. happy face. Oh. Actually, it'll, it should just be Phil's face and the sound of women orgasming so we can ruin that for people. <laughs> Well, now that we've um, given it away. Well, you know. Well, it will probably still work if we did it really suddenly. <laughs> Whose eyeballs boggled out when we met him in the, uh, like, in the mortuary. Mm. One... Are you going to light it or what? Should do. Yeah, there we are. There you go. Weird there for a second. And Boop. one candle for the dead Roberta Williams in a cupboard. And one candle for the dead guy with the ripped up robe we saw yeah, earlier. Notice there's interesting patterns on the door there. That's That's relevant. So there's... You know. What happens if someone comes in and just happens to light those three candles... Well, I guess I get a mystery surprise for the day. I'd like to do that, like set up, you know, something like that where it's like a really obvious password and then like a little thing opens and a, a spy starts talking to them as though they've got a mission to accomplish. Like that one episode of The Simpsons. Yeah. Jeez. Yes, I think we're thinking of the same thing. That was a good episode. Was it was a good bad. joke. It's back when the show was still watchably good. I want the blue guitar. And then, yeah, now you have to buy could you, the... Could you stop snotting all over the board, please? <laughs> I'm going to hold this like nobody on Earth holds it. Look at the positioning of his hand. He's got to have the most fucked up proportions of any human being. Is he going to shoot you now? No. It just seems like it's set out that he's going to do that. Oh, no. Oh, your underpants are on display. <clears throat> You're not one of them uh, lucky guys in robes that get to wear whatever the fuck... I don't know if I'd be comfortable freeballing under a robe, you know. I like I like boxer shorts because worst comes to you know if, if you've lost you, yeah, okay. Whenever I hear the term freeballing, I always think of the song. Yeah, no, I'm no. free, <laughs> freeballing. So the idea is the picture will contain the code, and this one I can see sort it. of. There's a four. Oh joy, four more things to track because <laughs> we haven't gotten enough biscuit tracking at this point. Oh no, they're they're locations. They're not biscuits. Oh, they're well. like they're biscuit trays. Well, excuse me. Get out of it, right? <laughs> you, can't we, you tell by these amazing HD graphics? Are we going to Biscuit Town now? Yeah, it's the land of chocolate. Abdul's <sighs> Pawn Shop. Nice. Yep. Oh wait, was that P A W N? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, P A W N. Well, no, I have to go oh. to the church first and do the thing that the guy's arm said. That's the less good pawn shop. <laughs> I don't know, there are times when I don't need porn. Oh, yeah, here we are, so this is, um... An eyeball's been... An orb's been killed. Oh, no! Can't forgive that. I actually like the little tune. It was good of that person who carved that middle... It was good of the person who carved that middle tombstone to arrange the words, so if there happened to be a dead orb positioned in front of it, he'd still be able to read them. Mm. That was a guy with forethought. 
temporospatial engineer. It looks like a little, you know, gingerbread house in the I, background of I, that I shot. I just there. thought you were admiring the hole in the ground. <laughs> no, it looked like a gingerbread house. Uh, and then we go to the church. Is the Statue of Liberty like ruined? Because that's the usual like thing that happens in the New York district. Oh, isn't get it? ready for an M Night Shyamalan twist on this ruined Statue of Liberty in this game, yeah, I'd say. Oh, joy. get ready, yeah. And now, now I have a plan. So it's like I'm not just sitting here going, "I'm going to light all the sadness candles." I'm not even sure what these candles do, to be honest. So that's one candle for the guy. They do that basically when it's like, okay, you've actually solved the day. It's like, oh well, I can. Philippe. Yeah, I decided to, <laughs> I decided to write it like that because it made me giggle. Harvey Osborne. Yes, that's a weird thing. Like that's what I mean about the plot of this. It's like you you start as a manhunter and you're working for the orbs, and then somehow you end up just not for no real reason, motivation, or understanding. It's just like, oh, this is what. Would you these do. orbs even know if you just gave them like false names? I did try just typing in like you know foot jab McBum cuddle and nothing. Well, if they already knew, know. if they already knew their name, why do they need you? I don't know. Maybe it's like one of those. Maybe it's like work for the doll. It's like they just give you silly little busy work to do to keep you occupied. Are we, are we ready to be awoken in the most intrusive possible way again? <laughs> yep. Wait for biscuits and floating eyes. Which is uh, wait a second. Reminds me of the eighth time I took acid. <laughs> So your teetotal now, is does that apply to everything? Like, narcotics as well? Yeah. Um, so a friend of mine made a joke. It's like, hey, when are you getting your straight edge tattoos? And I've never wanted to hit another human being more than my <laughs> entire life. I, uh, just straight edge people. <laughs> wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Balls, balls, balls. I just have this image in my head that just fly around saying balls all the time. I'm reminded of the intro of Portal 2. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Wheatley, just, a, Wheatley just bursts in. There is a Wheatley-ishness about the balls. There is a Wheatley-ish Or maybe there's a ball about the Wheatley. That's pretty. That's probably more accurate given that one game came before the other. Wheatley's pretty ballish. I actually replayed that just the other day. I want to get a Kickstarter going so that J.K. Simmons and the Portal Riders just do an hour of fresh, completely <laughs> context-free um, Cave Johnson information every year. I need that because that 20 minutes, the, the, the 27 minutes of dialogue from the Portal DLC was brilliant. So he should be um, folding that uh, laptop screen back a bit mm. the way he's sitting. He's, Remember he's, back in the day when they had like a little handle and they were kind of like a briefcase and just they were like that. They were like, just that horrible. They were for the professional man. Well, that was back when they literally did nothing but word processing and spreadsheets. So mm -hmm. there was no reason for you to have one. Oh, good. We get to watch the little biscuit walk around the city, taking in the sights. And again. It's, yeah, this is an impressive video game in that it can make watching a biscuit walk about New York a boring thing. <laughs> the fact that, that should be a fun sentence. It was like on Twitter, I, I have like, you know, those, you know, you'll get those weird sex bot followers, like the, the spam sex followers. And I don't understand don't how that's I, supposed to work because they can't do anything to you. Like they just, they just go, I follow you. It's like, okay. No, and I don't it, think I've ever had sex bots follow me. You'll, 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 you'll know them when they crop up. Cause it'll be like some random photo of a girl, some random name. And then like, she'll say, Hey, I like cams and just have a link to some stupid fucking cam site. And it makes the sentence I'm being followed by sex bots boring which <laughs> upsets me to no end that shouldn't that's not a boring sentence if i said to myself at 16 dude in the in in the mighty future of 2012 you'll be getting followed by sex bots my eyes would light up like i'd be oh this, oh, this is gonna be awesome the future it's so close just i'm gonna tuck myself into bed and go to sleep so it can happen now you know for some reason i'm picturing that one scene from ransom where mel gibson is being kidnapped and he's talking to his boss on the phone and his boss says are you being followed by sex bots and mel gibson goes absolutely yeah <laughs> <laughs> Sex bots. I hope I get those when it's in the future. I'm surprised there are less bullshit deaths in this game than Sierra games usually have. Oh, spoke too soon. Yeah, it just... It's, <laughs> there's a dragon for no reason. It's not explained. That dragon looks really sort of socially awkward after he's knocked your head off. <laughs> I'm sorry, are we friends? And it's like, oh shit, oh god. Oh, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Next time, do something. Fantastic advice, you cunts. Fuck these guys. You've never <laughs> looked so good. You know, they're snarky, and then there's just spiteful. Mm. These guys have something against you. And then so, yeah, you have to go, oh no, medallion. Look, look how worried he is. And then that look, dragon he's like, looks. Oh. That dragon goes, oh shit, shit's getting, shit's getting real now. 
And then he takes the, you know, opens the door for me and wanders off with wood. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Bye. And the just, thing is, just needed this to repair my bed. Yeah, thanks. the best part is he comes from where I was. Where did he come from? Where is he going? What is he doing with the wood? Like that's what I love about it. There's just I broke a slat on my bed. <laughs> fucking my dragon friend girlfriend. <laughs> it's a flashlight with scales. We're too late again. We've run into another corpse of presumably a resistance man. Yeah, this game really is just chase the corpse. Are they being killed by the orbs? Why do they um, even need us? No, they're being killed by... Look, this is the resistance, so they're being killed by Phil. Right. The but, huge giant dick. But, uh... Under we, aren't we, like, supposed to be killing the resistance? Notice that tattoo. Does that not look familiar? Yeah, like a setup of some arrangement of uh, candles. Ah, uh, uh, that hand is fucked. Yeah. It's graphically, I mean. Oh, uh, all, the, all the art in this is hilariously that, bad. <laughs> that hand would make sense if someone had, like, removed the bones and stamped on it. Mm. Well, but... Oh, the orbs have new... Have, oh, oh. Yeah. The orbs are getting uppity. Yeah, 